What's up, Epic Gamers? Welcome back to The Domain. This is an analysis video of some really exciting news that's come out recently, and as most analysis videos goes, this will be mostly unedited, just to be enjoyed as some kind of podcast. Yesterday, we got a brand new Halo Waypoint article, and there was something sneaky at the bottom. There was something that a lot of people did not see coming. Okay, it's in this one, it's called January Jottings, and it's got some really good details. We'll break a little bit of it down. First of all, this news came from Mega Constructs News. They're a great, reliable Instagram and Twitter uh, source for all your Mega Constructs news, as the name would suggest. And they always have really up-to-date listings on things like Amazon releases and, and so much more. So many behind-the-scenes details. So, January Jottings. This is on the Halo Waypoints Bulletin, and it teases something very exciting coming to Mega Constructs in just a few days time on January 30th we're gonna get some brand new information and this one is gonna really get the community excited like this this is seriously cool so <clears throat> January jottings first of all we start with this gorgeous piece of artwork and Alex Wakeford a really great guy uh, recently joined 343 I believe last year he was a great community member did a lot of stuff uh, towards um, structuring and um, cataloging a lot of the lore around Halo he's a really Really great guy. He first teased the uh, joint fire event or really just gave an update reminding people that it's still going on. And I gotta say, I'm, um, you know, customization in Infinite is not perfect, but those orange and green visors look so good. And remember, visors are cross-core customization now, so you can use them on any of your Spartans. They are really good. So I would recommend doing the 10 tier free event. I've seen some people commenting on the Halo official polls and things and, and posts saying they don't like the joint fire uh, game mode, the uh, convert up CTF. I love that one flag CTF where uh, it's basically your two teams, one of you has active camo and one of you has to defend the flag with swords. It's legendary, like I really enjoy it. He also details some forge creations, yes that is Guardian, I've played it with some of my friends and it is exceptional. Uh, also you should check out that list for lots of different... Um, new maps from Forge. One of the interesting things, I, I, I don't know if everybody knows this, when you see any uh, YouTuber like, uh, for example, Mint Blitz talking about new Halo Infinite maps, you can download and bookmark them very, very easily. For example, this phase shift, you actually shift between two different maps, it's really cool. If you click on that, you can then just press bookmark and it's added into your game already, like it's already there the second you bo uh, boot up Infinite, like it's so good. So definitely check out that. Uh, that forge feature is really good. I oh, know, I just closed, no, no, I didn't close it, I just panicked. January jottings. Yeah, that is the ultimate reward this week, which I will definitely be grinding. I've been doing all of the ultimate rewards the last couple of months, because they're so easy to do. It requires maybe like an hour or 90 minutes to complete. There's some really good ones. Not that interested in these, uh, the Eagle Strike core, but I know it's, you know, it's not for everyone. There are some people that really like it. Then they got an announcement for the HCS season kicking off. As long as Halo continues, uh, you know, to be... I mean, I, I don't even know. I mean, as long as HCS continues to be a big event, we will be there at HCS Seattle in October for the final, and you should be there too. It's going to be a great event. Apparently, VIP tickets are already sold out for this Charlotte's event, which is really nice to see. Uh, then we got some new merch. Cortana, what have I missed? <laughs> what have you missed, Master Chief? I won't. Uh, pretty funny for Valentine's Day. Uh, I always think the Halo Gear Shop could do with some work. It could do with some more, you know, inventive material. But this is nice. This is pretty cool. I think we're just getting started with a needler with roses well yeah okay okay you do you ah well here's the information here's here's the beautiful information that you want to sink your teeth into today so new year new mega halo spartans prepare for your next mission orders inbound on january 30th stay tuned to mega constructs and halo for an exciting announcement and all the details what could it be everybody what could this wonderful information be it's Really exciting. Okay, so it says, coming soon, Halo Infinite, um, and then there's this beautiful SketchUp. Now, uh, this is an enhanced image. We can see a lot here, like a lot. And I would love to see people try to break down like everything that is new in this image. I've had a good look through myself. I've read a lot of comments, particularly um, G Customs Creations did a good breakdown of these images. The main thing we can see, oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, it's the ODST Spartan from Halo Infinite. There's a great website called Silix Guide. Uh, it shows you all the armors for Halo Infinite. I would definitely recommend checking it out, Silix Guide. Firefall, a radical offshoot of another ODST armor development project at Cascade. The Firefall is the first component of an ensemble that aims to eliminate the need for drop pods in Spartan orbital insertions. So basically the Spartans just jump straight out and land on the ground. They don't need the drop pods anymore. That Firefall is gorgeous. The fact that we're getting that ODST helmet. Ah, oh, we haven't had an ODST Spartan helmet since like Book in Halo 5 Guardians. So it's about time. I'm really excited about that. We've got uh, some standard helmets and weapons that we've seen a few times before. But then this is uh, the one that's got people hot and bothered. Now... Uh, you can compare this to a few different things. Uh, I picked up two helmets, this ISR and the uh, Stormfall, yeah. When I'm looking at it now, it, the, the visor seems more clear. It probably is that ISR. The ISR is the latest in a long line of Neftali helmet designs built to specifications drawn up by Oni's Tactical Signals Intelligence Collection Units. That's a mouthful. Apparently it's a rare helmet as well, an exotic. These these exotics and legendaries make literally no sense considering you can buy most of it. Uh, it is from Season 1, and yeah. Um, I, yeah, I would love Stormfall, but I don't think that's it when I, when I analyze it further. That's probably ISR. Uh, then we've got the Mark 7. We've got the Trailblazer. And I believe all four of the armors. We've got Firefall, let's call it ISR. Trailblazer and Mark 7. I believe they're copied and pasted on the other side. Um, yeah, so another ISR, another Trailblazer, another Nightfall, Stormfall, Stormfall. Yeah, yeah. Get, get it right. Firefall. I said Nightfall and Stormfall. No, because Stormfall is a, a... Yes, that's Stormfall. Yeah, so Nightfall, the ODST variant. Uh, I actually said Nightfall. <laughs> Firefall. Firefall. This helmet, I believe, and again, this is from uh, someone online, I believe it was G Customs Creations again, is the TAC M247. <laughs> M2 <laughs> M2497 pouches. Keep it simple, keep it reliable, keep it close. Yes. I mean, I'm I'm down for you know me. Mega should be making as many helmets, as many attachments, as many pieces as possible. And I hope that this is only a slither of what they're making this year. It seems really promising. This new chest and then two new helmets, guaranteed Firefall and probably Stormfall. Stormfall, there was a really good Jazzware figure from. It's exciting. It's, it's really exciting. What could this mean, though? And my question is to the community, uh, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Why say that there's an announcement coming Jan... 30th because that's what they said um you know news is dropping jan 30th uh, let's see yeah orders inbound on jan 30th and why are they saying orders and why are they saying mission also the vehicles uh, a sidekick commando two bulldogs a sniper spanker and old battle rifle that battle rifle mold has been in this forever uh, i don't know what uh, firefall has on his back but i don't think it'll be anything uh, unique a lot of people have commented on this beautiful uh, piece on the Warthog, though. Apparently more of a 343-era um, plate. The Warthog itself looks very similar to the Warthog Rally. Um, this is Podcast Evolve. Go sub to them. They're great. Um, it looks very similar to the Warthog Rally. I think practically identical except for that one feature. Um, but a great feature. People seem to be really excited about it on Reddit. Uh, seems to be a really positively res uh, responded thing. Uh, the Mongoose, I think, is piece for piece copy of both the Recon Getaway and the UNSC Mongoose Outriders. Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it certainly ain't broke. Let me know, guys, what is your opinion of this news in the comments down below? And uh, I guess we just got to play the waiting game till January 30th. It's going to be an exciting day. Uh, it's going to be an exciting week, considering the Toymation Fest closes on uh, January 31st, and then the judging is on February 5th. And you know on December 30th, I'll have a reveal on the domain with all the information I can get my teeth into. So thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the Domizzle in the hizzle, the domain. Thank you very much for tuning in. Did I just say that? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> well, thank you very much for tuning in twice over. I thank you twice as much. And the domain, as always, is signing off. See you next time, folks.